the oldest battle in the world. Man against pest. A never-ending war against an army of invaders that spreads filth, waste, and disease wherever it goes. Get them, the deadly invaders, before they get you. Invaders love filth. They thrive in garbage. They crawl around toilets and sewage. They contact decayed organic matter that is filled with germs. Wherever they go, germs go. You never know where they've been or what deadly disease germs they might be carrying. They look disgusting. But the real danger comes from what you don't see, the invisible contamination left to grow in the food that someone is going to eat. In the battle against disease carried by the deadly invaders, every worker in the food service industry is on the front line. Rule number one in the battle plan, keep them out. Watch for them constantly. Check incoming supplies carefully. Roaches and even mice will hitchhike inside a crate or box. Sacks or boxes of potatoes seem to be a favorite hiding place for roaches. Look them over carefully. Also examine linens and laundry. Roaches aren't particular how they get in. If you see one, chances are there are more inside. Refuse merchandise of any kind that carries the hitchhikers. Don't let empty boxes and packing materials stack up in your storeroom. Get them outside as soon as you can. Keep trash and garbage as far away from the doors as possible. No matter how neatly refuse may be handled, it can be a breeding ground for flies. The farther they have to travel, the better. Watch for any kind of crack or crevice that might let the invaders in. Faulty screens, doors that don't close, or any other opening is an invitation for them to enter. You can further reduce their chances of entering by using pesticides around doors and windows. The second phase of the battle plan, starve them. Here, your best weapon is just old-fashioned cleanliness. Roaches need very little food. A few crumbs here and there, or a spot of grease, can keep them alive for days. Those stray drops of food that lodge in cracks and corners are what they look for. Clean thoroughly. Spilled food of any kind must be wiped up immediately. A few grains of food may not look like much to you, but for the invaders, it's like a table set for a banquet. Good housekeeping that controls the invaders has to go beyond routine cleaning of floors and tables, and special care should be used to clean those hard-to-reach areas where they hide and feed. Whenever you use a mop, store it properly off the floor where it can dry. Insects will set up housekeeping in a wet mop and raise a whole family. The third phase of the battle plan. Don't let them breed. Follow the rule of first in, first out. Use your old stock before getting into the new. Don't give them anything to hide behind very long. Rob them of privacy by keeping things moving. Dark, undisturbed areas under shelves are a favorite breeding ground. Store nothing on the floor, and when cleaning, get back under shelves to remove anything that might give them a place to breed. 
Change burned out light bulbs that don't let you see into corners or behind things. Insects prefer dark, warm places where their young, like these maggots that will soon be adult flies, can feed and grow. Piles of trash must not be allowed to accumulate if the breeding of the invaders is to be stopped. Roaches will breed around motors or the motor housings of any piece of equipment, especially if there are stray scraps of food in the area. Clean such areas thoroughly and frequently. Food waste is another problem. Grind as much of it as you can. The garbage that can't be ground or incinerated immediately should be kept in clean, covered cans. And if possible, in a garbage refrigerator. Flies and roaches can't breed when the temperature is this low. The fourth phase in the battle plan. When you see them, kill them. Your weapons, pesticides. They must be stored in labeled and locked cabinets away from food preparation areas. It's best to inform your supervisor before taking things into your own hands. Read the instructions and follow them to the letter. It's the pests you want to get rid of, not the customers. So know what you are doing and use extreme caution to prevent contamination of food and utensils. Spray at close range and in limited areas only. Whenever possible, seal up cracks and crevices with caulking compounds or other sealants. Always scrub your hands carefully with soap and water before going back to work. Rodent extermination is another matter. These pests are killed only by weapons that are also dangerous to people, weapons that can cause illness or even death. They belong only in the hands of professional exterminators and should not even be stored in food service institutions. For non-professionals, the best weapon is a simple rat or mouse trap. It is often just as effective as poison and a lot safer to have around. All poisonous materials must be handled with extreme care by licensed professionals. In the war against the deadly invaders, chemical weapons are used only as a last resort. Housekeeping is your first line of defense. But remember, when you rid your place of the invaders, it isn't the end of the war. It's only a phase in the battle. They'll be back because the war between mankind and the invaders never ends. Every food service operation must keep all of its defenses active at all times. Every employee must work to keep them out, to starve them through careful housekeeping, to keep them from breeding, and to kill them on sight. But when you've gotten rid of a few, don't think your job is done. There will always be millions more.